Hi there! Welcome to Heather's Hippo Yoga. I'm Heather and this is Chair Yoga. Um, I really, I really love Chair Yoga because it makes it accessible for so many different ranges of mobility and physical activity, right? Um, you know, if you're unsteady with your balance, if you have bad knees, um, if you're just not super flexible and maybe you're trying this for a first, the first time or your back is a little stiff, chair yoga is just so wonderful. It gets you moving, right? It gets those joints and tendons stretching and moving and doing all of those incredible things that help you stay young and healthy, right? Keep you mobile and flexible and give you energy to use throughout your day. So, go ahead, join me for this beautiful practice. Um, and yeah, you're gonna wanna have a chair that has a backing, just like this. Um, I have a plastic chair. She's, <laughs> she's a little squeaky. Um, I'm actually, <gasps> I should name her Squeaker. So, I've got Squeaker here with me. She's got a back. <laughs> Did you hear her? Squeaker, she's talking. And go ahead, come to a nice, comfortable seat on your chair with your feet planted on the floor. And you want to make sure you're sitting up tall. So you have to kind of shift your weight forward and sit on top of your sit bones. If you need to move your flesh out of the way, go ahead. You just want to make sure you're really rooted down. You're not rounded in the back, but sitting up nice and tall. So your chest is open, your shoulders are falling down your back, eyes are closed, hands in your lap. And just start to breathe in and out through the nose, nice and easy. And let this breath be as it is. Don't try to force it or change it in any way. Just let it be. And start to become familiar with your breath in all aspects of it. Ask yourself, how does it feel? Is it easy or hard? Strained? Is it shallow or deep? Long or short breaths? Just really notice. Be aware, be present in this moment to what your breath is. Bring one hand to your heart and see if you can connect to your heart rhythm, your heartbeat. And then bring both hands to, hand, to heart center, thumbs connected to the sternum, pressing gently into the palms. and lower the hands down. Excellent. Go ahead, open your eyes. And we're going to go ahead and practice pranayama or breath practice. This is called three-part breath. Okay, so put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. And what you're going to do is you're going to imagine that you've got a balloon inside your belly and a balloon inside your chest cavity and a balloon inside your throat. And as you breathe, First, you're going to fill up the balloon in your belly. Then you're going to fill up the balloon with air in your chest cavity. Then you're going to fill up your throat balloon with air. And as you exhale, you're going to exhale the air out of that throat balloon, then out of the chest cavity, then out of the belly. So you're really using this visual, visual to really build and expand and draw in as much air as you can into the belly then into the chest, into the throat, and then you're going to exhale all that air out from the throat, chest, belly. Inhale, belly, chest, throat, exhale, throat, chest, belly. Inhale, belly, chest, throat, 
Exhale, throat, chest, belly. Inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat, chest, belly. Inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat, chest, and belly. Move at your own pace. And the next time you exhale, release your hands into your lap and breathe normally. Nice. Uh, pranayama practices like that, that have such deep breath involved, is so nourishing. Truly, you're aerating your body with all this fresh, fresh oxygen, bringing nutrients through the blood all throughout your entire body. It's Oh, doesn't it just feel great? Mm. You could honestly just do that practice every day for like two minutes a day and feel benefits like that. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Excellent. Go ahead, widen the feet. Make sure the feet are still planted on the floor. And inhale the arms up. Exhale, side bend right. Reach those fingertips up and over. Stay rooted in that left hip. And make sure that your heart is not collapsed. We're opening up the chest, right? Our shoulders are away from our ear. And we're breathing into our side body. Hmm. And inhale both arms up. Exhale, side bend left. Really breathe into the ribs and into the armpit, taking in as much air as you can. Hmm. And inhale the arms up. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale the arms up, exhale side bend left, inhale, exhale, inhale the arms up, reach, 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 and exhale the arms out and down. Gorgeous. Walk your feet back in and go ahead, inhale the arms up, exhale, twist to the right. Put your back hand on the back of the chair and the other hand on your, on your knee. Imagining you've got a string connected to the crown of your head pulling you up, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, you can deepen into the twist. And you want to make sure that your hands aren't jerking your body, but it's rather your abdominal muscles that are twisting you. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Then unwind, inhale both arms up. Exhale, twist left. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. <coughs> Excuse me. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. And unwind. And inhale the arms up, interlace the fingers behind your head, elbows wide. And we're going to start to kind of rock our pelvis back and forth. And we're going to start to add our chest and our gaze into it. So you're going to inhale forward, rock the pelvis forward, lift the heart and gaze, widen the elbows. Exhale, draw the elbows in, sit all the way back, draw the elbows in, chin to chest. 
Inhale, shift forward and open. Exhale, elbows in, chin the chest. Inhale, forward and open. Arc the back. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Sit on the backs of your sits bones. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. And inhale to come up to sit up nice and tall, elbows wide, and just do little side bends. Just working our abdominals a little bit, also bending our spine. We've been moving our spine in the six different directions because it's so important for our spinal health, right? This is one direction, two direction, then we twisted three direction, fourth direction, and then we did those spinal inflections, fifth direction and sixth direction. Go ahead and lower your hands down. Doing those six movements every day truly helps your overall spinal health. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, chest is still lifted, shoulders down. Bring your chin to your chest and breathe. And roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Take that right hand, gently pulling on the head. Keep breathing, reach those left fingertips out, down and away from the shoulder. And lower that arm, turn your gaze toward the floor and gently pull on the back of your head. Release the arms, chin to chest, and then left ear to left shoulder. Breathing deeply. Take that left hand, gently pull, reach those right arms out or the right fingertips. Lower the hand, turn the gaze to the floor and gently pull on the back of your head. Lower the hand, chin to chest, interlace the fingers behind your head, gently pulling your elbows in. And release the hand, raise the head, and go ahead, bring that right arm across the body, making sure the shoulders are moving down, and perhaps roll the wrist. Go ahead, switch sides, rolling the wrist. And then take that right arm, reach it up, bend the elbow, crawl the fingertips down the spine, and gently pull on that elbow, stretching those triceps. So that right fingertips are moving down the spine. Heart is open, not collapsed. And then take that left arm down around and put the back of your hand on your low back. Breathe here. Feel that stretch in the shoulder. This really helps with posture. And release the arms down. Whew. Take that left arm, reach it up, crawl the fingertips down, gently pull on the elbow. Breathe into the front body. And then take that right arm down around. Back of the hand on the small of your back. Keep the heart open and lifted, really working those postural muscles. And release the hands down and go ahead and roll out the shoulders. Ooh, maybe shimmy on. I love a good shimmy. You can hear squeaker. <laughs> it's the little things in life, right? You gotta find joy where you can. All right, go ahead, come up to stand, take your time.
<clears throat> and the beauty about these YouTube videos is you can always pause me, right? You can pause me so I stop talking. That way you can get into a position and then you can press play. Do whatever you need to do. All right, we're going to do a little downward facing dog. So you want you can spread your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance apart, or you can keep them at hip width distance apart. I've got a belly and thighs, so I like to keep them just a little bit wider than my hips. And you're just going to hinge forward and reach your hands onto the chair. Now, if you're like this and your weight is on your elbows, send your weight back and perhaps move your feet even further back so your arms are really reaching forward, right? So you've got this nice long lengthened spine and you can keep a little bend in your knees. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing and maybe play with bending one knee at a time. Maybe straightening both knees at the same time. It's up to you. Breathe into that stretch. Remember we want to send the tailbone back and the crown and arms are reaching forward. And then go ahead, bend the knees slightly, use your hands to walk up to stand. Excellent, and go ahead and shake it out. Yeah. All right, so for this next part, you're going to want to use your chair for balance, okay? So if you need to walk around, my chair, squeaker is very light, so I can just flip her around. So come to stand in your Tadasana with your chair nearby so you can put your hand on it. We're going to do some balancing. So feet rooted into the ground, legs engaged, tail tucked, navel drawn in, heart lifted, shoulders down, palms facing front. We're fully engaged. We're engaging that root lock, those bathroom muscles. We're squeezing them in and up into our belly button. Our chin is slightly tucked. We're fully engaged in this strong pose, mountain pose. This is a very active pose. We're not just standing here. We are rooted into the ground so we can rise up. Mm. Excellent. Okay, go ahead, put your hands on your hips, or you can keep one hand on the chair if that's more comfortable for you. We're just going to start to march. Just picking up our knees and marching, starting to kind of work those stabilizing muscles, right? Those muscles that keep us in balance. So we're warming them up, up a little bit. And then slowly we're going to slow it down. Lower marches, nice and slow. Remember, you can always keep your hand on your chair for balance. And see how slow you can get it. Right, keep that navel drawn in, nice and engaged. And then stop, excellent. Okay, one hand on the chair, one hand on your hip. Draw that navel in, squeeze that root lock, those bathroom muscles, draw them in and up, standing up nice and tall. Find a fixed point that you can gaze at and shift your weight over to the right. Lift that left knee up and hold here for a moment. If you feel that shaking or wobbling with your foot, that means miracles are happening right now. Your muscles are working to strengthen that balancing muscle. And lower the foot down. Go ahead, inhale, shift the weight to the other side. Feel that shaking. That means you're doing good work. It's the good stuff. It's the sauce. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. And lower 
lower the foot down. And shifting the weight over to the right, lift that left knee up, take it out to the side and attach your foot to your leg, either on the floor with your heel on your shin, on your calf muscle or above the knee. Make sure it's not on the knee. You can bring both hands to your hips or your heart or one hand on your chair. Draw in and up, squeeze the navel in, lifted heart, find that gaze. Balance. You can always move your hand away, lift it up, put it back on the chair. If you have to lower your foot, lower your foot. Do whatever you need to do. Keep breathing for beautiful tree pose and perhaps raise the corners of your mouth for a smile. Shake out that leg, and let's shift over to the other side, hand on the hip. Inhale, shift the weight over, lift that right knee, take it out to the side, and attach the foot. Remember, it can be down here, on your shin, or above the knee. Draw in and up, lift it, nice and tall, find your gaze. Put your hands wherever is most comfortable for you. Breathe. Embrace the shaking. That means the pose is working. And perhaps lift the corners of your mouth for a smile. Excellent. Shake out the leg. Shake out the booty a little bit. Shimmy. Shake out the arms and the wrists and the face. Gorgeous. And go ahead. Face your chair. Spread your legs nice and wide. And let's come to a wide leg forward fold. So toes are in, heels are out. There's a slight bend in the knees. You're going to hinge forward, put your hands on the chair, and reach them forward. So it's very similar to a downward facing dog, but your legs are much wider. So there's a little bit more room for your belly. Reach the crown forward, tailbone back, and you can always bend one knee at a time. Make sure you've got a nice length in spine, reaching, breathing. your hands to walk up, come up to stand, and let's come back to sit down in our chair. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, spread the legs nice and wide, use your hands and just widen the knees for a little groin stretch. You should feel it right in here. back in. Use your hands if you need to, to grab your foot, place it on top of your knee, flex the top foot and send the top knee down for a little pigeon. You should feel it in your hips, maybe feel it in your knee, and just breathe. Make sure you're still sitting up nice and tall, sending that top knee down. And 
you can keep this, this hand here. And if you want, reach back to the back of your chair for a little twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. And then go ahead, unwind, lower the foot down, switch legs. Flex the top foot, send the top knee down, step nice and tall. And go ahead, reach that arm back for a little twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. If you can, you can always take that knee across the body, or I'm sorry, the, the hand across the body. Go ahead, unwind, lower the foot, and we're going to end this practice just with a minute or so, a silent silence, silent silence. <laughs> Go ahead, bring your thumb and point your finger together, <clears throat> like so, in Gion Mudra. Flip your palms up and rest them on your lap. Let your shoulder blades fall down. Make sure your chest is open. And inhale. Exhale, sigh audibly. Ha. <sighs> inhale. Exhale, sigh. Release your facial muscles. Soften your eyes. Soften your cheeks and your jaw. Separate your teeth. Let the tongue fall from the roof of your mouth. And just breathe. Slightly pressing into the pointer finger with your thumbs. And breathing. For this moment, bring your attention back to your breath. Notice how it feels. Does it feel any different than it did before? Become so familiar with your breath right now in this moment that you could paint it or take a picture of it or hold a memory of exactly how it feels. If your mind wanders, bring your attention back to the breath. And bring both hands to heart center. light inside of me honors the light within you. Namaste. Excellent. Thank you for joining me for this short, short chair yoga practice. It's super easy to practice every single day or every other day, whatever suits you best. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel, and also share with friends. Share with anyone whom you know might benefit from this. Thank you so much.
Bye-bye.